Magnetic Attraction of Iron Fillings and Sulfur When two or more elements are brought together, they merely mix together without losing their individual properties. These are called mixtures. Mixtures can be separated using different methods. For instance, a mixture of iron and sulfur can be separated using magnetic separation method. Now, let's see the magnetic property of iron. Take two petri dishes. Put some iron fillings in one and powdered sulfur in the other. Then, take two bar magnets. Bring one bar magnet near the iron fillings and another bar magnet near the sulfur. You will notice that the magnet attracts the iron fillings, whereas in the case of sulfur, the magnet does not attract it. Now, let's see the process involved in separating a mixture of sulfur and iron using magnetic separation method. For this, transfer the iron fillings and the sulfur powder into a third petri dish to get a mixture of the two constituents. Then, bring a magnet near the mixture. The magnet attracts the iron fillings and thus separates iron from the mixture. Now, take the sulfur and iron fillings into a china dish and heat the mixture over a burner. You can observe that a grey mass is formed because of heating. Now, cool the mass. If you bring the magnet near this mass, the magnet does not attract it. Here, iron cannot be separated from the grey mass using a magnet because iron has combined with sulphur and formed a compound, ferrous sulphide. Thus, it is clear that a compound does not retain the properties of its constituent elements.